Skyblock starts off very simple. And as you build bigger and better farms, it gets more and more insane. I'm going to be surviving 100 days and make an epic base, get loads of resources, and get very, very rich. Also, this was done on my server, Penguin GG. Yes, owned by me. And I'm online right now. Use the Bedrock or Java IP down below. Type Warp SB and come visit me on my island. Not got much to work with right now, except a lava bucket and some ice, which I'm gonna use to make myself a good old cobblestone generator. I'll also bunch this tree and mine up a little bit of dirt, because I want to make sure that I can catch any saplings <laughs> that might fall from this tree. If I was to fail to get a sapling, then uh, my, my entire wood livelihood would be over. Thankfully, I've already got two. Crafting table can be made. I've got it so that you don't only get stone and cobblestone, but the generator can also get you ores. Now I've got a better pickaxe. I can mine up even more. And I got my first diamond. Shame that I, I don't have an iron pickaxe. This is iron ore number two. And finally, the third one. So that can be smelted in here. I'll upgrade to an iron pickaxe. Now I can do slash sell. I can sell all of this stuff that I don't need, which I, I think is that. I have got me one piece of iron here, though. which allows me to make a shovel. Just realized I sold me wood, which I, I didn't really want to do. But I'm just going to concentrate on getting more cobblestone. Then I can make slabs and have a bit of a platform going around my island. That's every piece used up. So it's back to mining. That's all the way around the outside and I can start removing dirt. Because dirt's going to be pretty precious in Skyblock. So saving it is very important. The first pickaxe is already broken. Thankfully, the tree has grown. Quite convenient considering I've completely run out of sticks. I'll go for a diamond axe, a diamond pickaxe. Get rid of this massive oak tree here. And I can more strategically plant these trees and get back to mining. I've got a serious amount of slabs now, and I'd like to try and make this island as organized as I can. This block right here is the spawn point, and so everything's going to be designed around this. I'm going to have pathways going in every direction, and right here will be my house. Right here will be the home of my cobblestone generator, which I appear to have set up perfectly, I think. I have a, a little bit of a lava leakage there, but now it is working perfectly fine, and my trees have grown. Pathway to this can be created and pathways on all sides are now done. I'm also getting very, very hungry. So sorting that is my next priority. I can smell a little bit of gold. And with one more, I can have a gold block. Anyway, I'm going to eat some apples. That should get me up to full hunger. And I want a bit of a staircase up to my farming section. This pathway goes all the way down the middle. And to finish that border, I need more wood. So instead, I will just start placing dirt. These little bits are going to have water in it. I I'm going to need more water. Apparently, there's some down there. Wait, what did I create? Looks like an accidental cobblestone generator from a lava lake and a water lake. Anyway, if I sell everything I own, I can buy a water bucket, create a nice little infinite water source, add them down, and for $9,000, I can get some wheat seeds. Looks like I'd better get busy mining. Okay, for getting to mining level 100, I got 10,000. And a fancy new pickaxe. This'll really speed things up. I'll also purchase a wheat seed, craft a hoe, and begin my farm. There we go, but please don't take too long to grow, because these trees are taking forever. For just 25,000, I get a pig spawner. And right now, I can't even sprint, so that, that'll probably solve all my food issues. And already, I'm past halfway there. Just gotta keep going. I've sat here in mind for quite a long time, and after selling everything, I have $54,000. Plus, my trees have grown, and the pig spawner has been purchased. Let's get rid of you, and look at that. We, get, we got a head as well, or we can put that on top. New quest, get every single mob head. Better add slabs under these leaves just so that I don't lose saplings in the void. I can also extend this pathway, murder another pig, and craft a smoker. And so finally, I can now eat and sprint and see that the wheat still hasn't grown. And since I did make a smoker, I reckon I should make another furnace, get some smooth stone and iron, and make a blast furnace. Then smelting ores will be much, much quicker. And I also want to increase my island's value from what you can see on the right. Currently at zero, but if I place a singular diamond block, it's now ten. And if I can become one of the most valuable islands on the server, I can get myself up on these podiums. But yeah, there's, a, there's quite a long way for me to go. Also constantly expanding my tree farm, the pathways, and wheat farm. Food problems are a thing of the past. 33 raw pork chops ready to be eaten. Just going to keep putting all the important ores into their various spaces and sell the ones I'm, I'm not too bothered about. I think a priority has got to be to finish the crop farm, but an even more important thing will be to create a cactus farm, since that's where all the real money can be made. I am just going to make up the design as I go along. And my first bit of wheat has finally grown. So if I use a fortune pickaxe, 
I'll get more. What do we get? We get four seeds. One, two, three, four. My first bit of wheat. Very, very happy. I've also got a spare sapling. And if I'm going to have any joint creating this, I'll need much more cobblestone. Now I'm just left with a lot of cobblestone. And I can create the system that will collect my cactuses. The water collection system is looking pretty good. And I've got myself some normal stone to make stone brick slabs. And these are what will hold the water in and stop it spilling over the edge. At least we'll now find out if that is the case <laughs> We're going to place it all the way along here. And there you go, looking good. I'll have two more right here. And I need to get busy growing more wood so that I can create some hoppers. Another tree has grown. So I'll craft as many chests as I physically can. In fact, they're just going up like there's no tomorrow now. This is exactly what I needed. With the iron, I can craft seven. These will then be here instead of the cobblestone. I also want three chests like this. Double chests ideally, but for that, I'll <laughs> I need more wood. I believe I'm also limited to five hoppers at the moment. Yes, I am. But if I do slash IS upgrades for just one, thousand sky coins i can get 50 hoppers and i have like eight thousand sky coins you get them from mining from taking out mobs from farming speaking of which some of my wheat has grown again so i'll do slash is bank click this deposit 1000 and then do that upgrade for 250,000 sky coins i can increase my border but I, I think it might take me a while to get there on a more positive note my trees do seem to be picking up speed i only just planted this one and it grew don't even have a floor around it to catch the saplings let me just grab three more chests add them here these slabs should prevent any cactuses from going on on top of the chests. And that just leaves me require more cobblestone to finish the collection system. I mean, pickaxe is, is starting to get a little bit weak. But if I do slash warp repair, this sign will save the day. And who knows, you might even bump into a random Steve. Anyway, I have no time for seeing people at spawn. More of my wheat has grown, as has more of my trees. And I'll get busy collecting more cobble. Well, I spent a long, long time there. I have uh, got plenty of stuff here. can also mine up many more trees. And some of my wheat has grown. I think it's wise for me to buy a little bit more dirt, like a, a stack or two, then this can be expanded and so can the tree farm. I also have quite a number of diamonds now, which can be turned into blocks and placed around the crafting table. And now I can get this collection system finished. I'm gonna make myself a little barrel. In fact, two barrels and they're both going to go into the floor like that and contain saplings and wood. Now it is done, just needs water and every single cactus that falls would end up in these chests. Since I do have so much money coming in, I'm actually going to buy... Okay, I can't buy a stack. I can buy one carrot, though, and get that growing, too. This build is going to require a lot of sand. I can I can buy a few. I'm just going to buy as much of it as I can. With the way the economy is nowadays, it's certainly not cheap. It's also really annoying me how this, this just isn't symmetrical. So much so that I'm going to expand the entire thing out by an extra block. You can't put a price on symmetry. Mission accomplished, and it was pretty easy. Just need to change these chests to be hoppers, and I can get back on with this big project. Plenty more wood is coming in. That's stack of planks, would you believe it? And progress to the cactus farm is finally now happening. That's all of my sand down, so I grab my one and only piece of cactus and get it planted. Next, I'm going to need fences so that when it grows, it will break. Before I expand this farm anymore, I'd like a minion so that that can be getting me extra money by doing extra work. But to get that, I have to complete two of my missions. If I do slash IS missions, as you can see, I've completed the mining one, and I reckon this one to craft diamond armor will be pretty simple. I'll just take my three diamond blocks, craft all of the gear and there you have it mission accomplished and now if i do slash servant there is my first one i think i'd like to have him hard at work Okay, well, not, not there. Instead, he should be right here. He's not the fastest thing in the world, but, but give him time and a few upgrades, and I'm sure he'd be very, very useful. And I'm going to spend some time placing all the slabs needed for the cactus farm. It's going to be quite the thing when I'm finished with it. Now, my main issue is <laughs> all the sand's going to be kind of expensive, and the measly stuff I'm getting from my wheat farm is still not going to be enough to fund it. Just realised for some reason I've been hoarding my seeds and not replanting them, so I've actually got 37 more of these. We're, we're getting there quickly. Curious to see how much this has gotten me in a short amount of time. I'm on 10,500. Oh, it's got me 52 raw beef and leather. So I got 100. I got 150. You know what? He's giving me a little bit, but it does seem mining is going to be my best way to earn more money. Buying a cactus would cost me 15, which is a little bit crazy. Not really something I want to spend... The first one! I just saw it. Did you just see it come through? Right on cue. But that means I now have two that can be growing. It'll soon build up. But yeah, in the meantime, the best way for me to get some money will be to do a load of mining. I've made things a little bit more organized by adding a chest below me that will catch things. I've also got all of uh, this just for cobble. And then I've, I've chucked stuff in there. Things keep on growing. Are those carrots done? Uh, okay, they're... <laughs> No, no, they weren't. So I'm best just sticking to what I know 
I'm continuing mining. Just reached mining level 500. This hopper system is also working quite well. I've sold quite a few things. As you can see, I'm on 31,000. All this gives me another 6,000. I'm tempted to sell me diamonds. Oh, both of these are worth quite a lot. You know what? It's all going. It's another 10k in the bank. The trees are also growing very, very nicely. Also think it'd be a good idea to smelt more cobblestone to stone. With Slash and Chant, I believe I can also add some more stuff to my pickaxe, like a better efficiency. Basically spent all my money on that. But it does mean that I can mine even quicker. I then spent the next three days mining so that I would have much, much more money. And I've just reached mining level 737. Should be a pretty good time to break off. I can also sell all this stuff. Give me a total of $134,000. I can also collect the many items from this guy and sell them for an extra 2.5k. All my crops are ready to be harvested. I can upgrade the efficiency and the fortune and the unbreaking and plant down many more crops. If I can complete the farming mission, I get a harvester that automatically replants the crops every time I harvest it. But to get that, you've got to farm so, so many more crops. Cactus farm is uh, a very slow and steady thing. Got seven more and an eighth one coming on down. So these can be planted and the fences added as well. I do have a little bit of money left to spend, so I'm going to go to the spawner shop and get a sheep one. I'm putting it next to this because there's a mission to also take out a load of sheep. 75 to be precise. I can also afford a bit more dirt, and that is basically all of my money spent. But the carrot section of my farm can probably be started. I also managed to collect all this wood as well. I'm going to have more than enough for plenty of projects, including eventually a house. And before I forget, I wouldn't mind making a couple of hoppers and a load of composters so that all these seeds and wheat can be put to good use and made into bone meal. Now I will use this to grow my carrots, harvest them, and really expand the farm. And once I get rid of all of these sheep, I have completed another mission. The cactus farm is also being expanded all the time. For this mission, I just need to sell an item in A8, so I've, I've listed the cactus really, really cheap, and somebody's bought it. So that's even more cash coming on in. And since I have so much spare wood now, I'm going to expand this platform and then add to this border like so. I realise rather than having to add loads of cobblestone, I can just do it from up here. It's definitely starting to look better. I'll replenish my log supply buy more dirt, and then I can complete the carrot section of the farm. 11 more cactus here. I tell you what, now that I'm getting more and more, it's coming through faster and faster, which would logically make sense. And I don't even have enough sand for the amount of cactus I have. So I can buy a few, which will keep me going for now. Once again, fences need adding. And I tell you what, this is going to be a real money maker when it's finally done. Just realised I got this sword as a reward as well for taking out so many of these mobs. So that's a nice bonus. And I'd also like to get busy mining up more ores. I've mined up a lot more stuff to be sold for a lot more money. Lots of my crops have grown, which is going to allow me to plant all the carrots that I need. At least I hope it is anyway. Yep, and I've got loads to spare. They can be safely stored in the chest. The wheat's going to get composted and the seeds replanted. I will also buy lots more sand, craft more fences, and plant as many of these as I can. Apparently, I forgot to put a fence here as well, so let's do that. And you know what? Adding the fences afterwards is probably going to be a much easier way to set up the farm. That's the entire bottom layer done. So I'll grab all of these and start building layer number two of the farm. So I've got a floor like this, which actually needs to be one more wider. And I'll grab these stone brick slabs. I can do with more normal stone. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to upgrade it so that my ores are better from this generator. Since I get the feeling that having lots of coal will be very important. As I smelt more and more stuff. These slabs will border the edge, leaving a gap like so, where items will fall down. I also think fence posts might be kind of smart, just so that the items don't touch the cactuses. I'm doing a lot of theorizing here, but let's probably test it. Also, due to the way that waterlogging works, I've got to be very careful and, uh, and not waterlog the slabs. Instead, doing something like that, and as you can see, if I... Okay, well, this is this is not as intended. I actually need to do it so that all the water is here. And then move all of this a little bit across. And I decided that instead of fence, I'd like to put some iron to good use and have bars all the way along. So items get sent down... They get pushed, they land, they drop. Oh, it's all working perfectly. Although my only worry is sometimes cactus might get stuck on top of it. So you know what? I'm not going to have... I, I, I am going to have... You know, I've, I can't decide. But for now, we're just going to have it and, and, and deal with it. I'll just place them in such a way so that they're not too near the edge. Another section ready for sand. Sand that I sadly can't really afford. I also need to start adding some fence posts down because these are beginning to grow. Place as many fence posts as I can down, but I ran out of fences. Thankfully not a big issue as I can craft plenty more. And I'll recreate that over there, right here. That was pretty quick to do. And I'm also going to do an extra one in the middle. Considering I'm making this up as I go along, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out. Mission accomplished. And because this is a bit smaller than the other two platforms, the iron bars actually hold everything into place perfectly. I'll add in the extra slabs. I've noticed a slight flaw in my design that if an item was to drop exactly in the middle of this, you know, this water source here, like... Uh, you see, it slides to the side and it did pull the extra one away. But if it's right in the very middle, 
it, it could get stuck. But don't worry, I of course have a plan. I can of course make signs and then break the slab and place it. Now if an item falls through there, it'll just go straight down and uh, okay, get stuck again. Slowly but surely making this more and more complicated all the time. But the pillars will sort any issues. I'll tell you what, while I've been doing that, the cactus really has been flowing in nicely. Nearly three stacks worth, here comes more. It's looking like quite the creation, isn't it? Although all these massive trees are in the way, so I'm gonna chop them as well. I think a big priority for me is to try and get sand for all of the cactuses at the top, which even when I sell all of this, will leave me quite a bit short, especially when you consider that I, I put the slabs in the wrong place. It's not really an issue, but you know I'm gonna fix it because otherwise it's, it's just gonna really annoy me. It'll be worth it, even if it is going to be very tedious. There we go. I'll cover every single bit of sand and add the fences as well. Might not look like much, but in about 20 years' time, this thing's really going to start paying for itself. Kind of curious to see what I get per stack. I get, you know, 1,300. I tell you what, once this is pretty big, it's going to bring in some serious money. These have almost all grown. I'm also going to make a very temporary melon and pumpkin farm with waterlogged stairs like this. Then I can till the ground, grab these two seeds, and place them like so. I'll use all the bone mail I have to... To get them going, because they, they take forever to get to that mature stage. So now they can kind of grow pumpkins and stuff at any time. In fact, even better, if I go like that. So a pumpkin, I only got one there, but sometimes you get more than one. There we go, I got three. And it's melons I have to grow to complete this farming challenge. So that is what I'm going to focus on. Look at that, grew me a melon straight away. Perfect, because they can actually be turned into melon seeds. And the farm expanded. Now, since cash is pretty tight and I still need much, much more sand, I'm going to earn money the best way I know by mining. Hopefully that'll be enough for now. And spare coal and cobble is being stored in those two chests. A few more of these have grown. And pretty much all the carrots and wheat too. That's all replanted. Quite a lot of carrots here. I reckon I could probably sell some of them. 875 a stack. That's not too bad. And plenty of cactus too. I'll buy a stack of sand. Then get to work placing stuff down. Actually, I have enough sand to cover the entire thing, which is great. Once I've added the extra fences, another layer will be done. That is job done. And all the cactus really will be flowing now. And now I'll try and get a bit more money in so I can start my next project. And whilst I'm doing this, I think I'm just going to use a load of my sky coins to do different upgrades because I was saving up to increase the size, but I need five times more, which could take forever, which is why I'm doing a bit of investing. It looks like netherrack is now also in the mix. So I'll keep trying to earn more money. Plenty more mining done. Getting me much, much, much more money. And if I put 100,000 into the bank, I can now permanently get speed two. There's also much more cactus and the crop's growing nicely. So the first plan is to remove this water source area. I'll just put it here instead. Then I'll mine out this area to extend the wooden pathway. Take out all of these mobs and extend the cobblestone floor. So right here is going to be where mobs are going to fall to. Just going to extend this platform a little little bit more. All this stone in the furnaces that I smelted earlier is starting to come in handy. Might be wise to set even more off. Thankfully, I now have loads of coal to fuel that. And doing so works me towards another mission. This is the chamber where the mobs are going to drop. By the way, all these spawners are going to be in here like in a massive tower. Should look really cool when it's complete. I'm going to use gates to stop the flow of water. There we go. And I can get rid of all these mobs, find the spawner and place it on top. Already got one pig, which is nice. And if I go like this on every side and anything that spawns will just flow in nicely, the roof will be at this height and then this time a gap at the back so that the mobs can flow and not land on top of the spawner in the middle. There's definitely some sort of method to my madness. Also run out of bricks, but thankfully, I've been busy smelling them right here. Get rid of the sheep and grab the spawner. Okay, well, what are you doing here? Anyway, I've got the spawner. It can be placed there. It's spawning sheep in. A roof can be added. And I'd like to buy some glass. It's, it's kind of expensive, but it's cheaper than buying sand and smelting it. One stack for 10 grand. I tell you what, it's going to break the bank at this rate. But if I turn them to panes, they'll go a bit further. And then I can cover the front like this. And begin building the third layer, which will be for the chickens, I need 50,000 to buy it, which is now done. I can get rid of the animals, and then I need to earn another 10,000 to buy the chicken spawner. And that's mining level 1,000. That's a, it's a bit of an achievement, isn't it? It does give me enough money to get a chicken spawner. It'll be added in right there. Apparently chickens can, can spawn on top. That's that's not what I want. All right, um, <laughs> put a slab there. Better do that to all of them just in case. Eventually, there may be some hostile mobs, so I want something like that. Cactus farm is just in the background being working away nicely. Make me another 13k. My melon are steadily growing. Everything's just coming together nicely. But I do need much more money to expand that cactus farm, so I'm going to mine even more. Sold everything I got from that, and that's another 100 grand in the bank. And I reckon I can get busy adding in the next spawner. So I'll add these gates, place the water, splash out on the cow spawner, which is, is quite expensive. And I can start getting myself lots of beef. And in order for me to get any of the spawners better than that, I have to take out loads, loads of mobs and buy 100 spawners in total, which for now is uh, is not going to happen. The mob heads are starting to come in as well. We've got chicken 
And a pig. And since to unlock this, I need to get 100 spawns. I'm just going to buy a pig spawner and test something. Basically curious to see what the game expects me to do with it. Okay, so yeah, you can stack up the pig spawners. That is huge, I guess, because it'll make them spawn even faster. And actually makes it worth it to buy loads and loads of them. Also just realised the system I built is pointless because I'm, I think I'm too far away from those higher up spawners for them to work. So yeah, th there'll be some tweaks made to it. It's also time I harvested all my crops again. Next, I'll make this platform a bit bigger. So I can make my melon farm even bigger. This will help me get that farming quest done in no time. Especially since I've got quite a bit of bone meal to work with. And once I have mined this tree and earned enough money to pay for all of the dirt, and I'm up to 100,000 from all of that, I can harvest more of these, buy quite a bit more dirt. Although I'm still two stacks short, which is 44,000. No doubt selling all of this cactus will help, but that's only an extra 12,000. So a little bit more mining is going to be needed. And I'm actually going to invest all of my sky coins, which is 50,000, to upgrade in this spawner so that sometimes I'll not only get ores, but I will get actual iron blocks. I can get endstone. I can get gold blocks. So as you can see, I just got one there. And there's also a gold block right at the back. So having those should really speed up the income. And evidently it did because I can now afford the remaining dirt. I'll grab the trees and begin work building a second layer of this farm. And that's much more of it built. I decided to add an extra layer because the first one was really, really quick. But doing so did mean that I didn't have enough dirt. And 132,000 is going to be needed to buy it all. There is a daily quest to get 10 fish at warp fishing. So I'm, of course, going to get a fishing spear from this guy. Grab a load of these. And doing that quest got me 1,000 sky coins and $10,000. I can also sell the fish to you. There's also one of these quests, which was pretty easy for me to do. Also can put better bait onto my fishing rod, which is it's just a handy little thing to have. And the sword it gave me is actually really nice. And mining is, of course, going to be another great way to get the rest of the money. An extremely long time has been spent at this generator. I'm smelting ores because it's a mission and doing all this has got me 258,000. I'm just 15 of them away from completing that mission. I'll buy the needed six stacks of this. I accidentally just bought seven, but I'm sure it'll be put to good use. That is all this place down. Next, I must till the ground. And then lots of carrots and the wheat can be planted. I'm actually going to get 17,000 from all those carrots. That's, that's quite a lot. I might just see what, this, what these seeds get me. Another 6,000. You know what? The, the farm is starting to become profitable. Once I have the fancy harvester tool, it'll be even better. Just 12 more to go. Cactus farm is also bringing in plenty more stuff. 16,000 more to be precise. And I want to expand it to at least double it in size. And such a project will require quite a lot of money. Some of which came from those furnaces. And the rest will come from mining up here. I could technically afford to get haste 2 if I wanted to. And I could mine even faster, especially considering I have completed the challenge to do all of the smelting now. But I'm actually better buying a stack of sand. That's now uh, two stacks, three stacks will get me two layers and four and a half would actually get me an extra layer. I'm, I'm just going to use every bit of money I have because with all of the resources I now have, I should be able to make this thing much, much bigger. I can also harvest up just a few more little bits of melon. I need one more. Come on, somebody grow. And some iron will be handy because I, I, I realize I need more iron bars. But that could be pretty easy, especially when you consider... I get iron blocks. And I've just realized I got absolutely loads of iron in there. So this is all of a sudden not something I have to worry about. Loads can be crafted. There's that final melon. And this is the farmer's harvester, which I want to test out. I, I've just put all this amazing stuff into my inventory and then I've got to do this. But I want to see, does it does it replant automatically? I, I'm, I'm, okay, it, it, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't work as I expected. I, you know, maybe I'm just wrong with something here. Oh, I see. It sometimes replants it. As you can see, look, some of them are going down. But anyway, I'm going to get busy on this cactus farm. It took a while, but three more layers are complete. Although I have decided that it would be better if I just move this bit right here to be one to the left. With it being directly under the iron bars, it, it's just going to cause problems. That's been done successfully. Just got to add the water and it's mission accomplished. As you can see, now it's really starting to speed up. 
And I want to test something regarding these spawners. If I mine that, can it be placed, like, in the pig spawner? Okay, no, so it just, it would do two spawners. I reckon, yeah, two together probably makes a lot of sense. Might as well grab the chicken one too. Didn't think about how the chickens could, could just escape though. So I'll get this all sold to see how much it brings in. 34,000. Not bad to say it's going to be working all the time. Then I upgrade my sword to have fire aspect on it. And if I can earn a little bit more, I can upgrade it to be looting three. And all of a sudden, I'm getting cooked food, which is worth more than the raw variant. Also, every single one of my melons has grown. And I've realized that whether or not it replants is based on your herbalism level. Right now, I'm number 53. And the higher the level you are, the more likely it is that it will replant. That maxes out at level 1,000. So for now, I've, I've got quite a long way to go. But the day that I don't have to replant crops like a peasant really will be a good one. And that's everything planted. The cool thing about this tool as well is that it won't actually harvest plants that aren't fully grown, so... Yeah, I'm not going to make that mistake anymore. Mine's me melon super quick. In fact, I feel like maybe it just upgraded because it's become an axe now. Oh, it changes based on what you're harvesting. So it's a hoe there. And then for this, it will become an axe again. Clever. I'm going to collect from my minion. He's, uh, he's filled up quite a bit. Made me a few more thousand. Cactus is flowing nicely. And once I've mined these trees, and then complete my next goal to get haste two. Going to need $250,000 to pull this one off. Hopefully all of this is going to be enough. Did already sell one batch. Just selling this batch now. A little bit short, but I do have the cactus right here. Brings in another 14k. I'll tell you what, that's a very, very good... I'm very pleased with this. And if I buy the crop rate growth increase, then the cactus will grow even quicker. I can only afford it once. I'll mine these trees and work on earning the final bits of money that I need. I'm getting very, very close. Just 13,000 to go. Maybe, just maybe the extra cactus will get there. Not like 6,000 plus this harvesting that I can do, which gets me to the 250k, meaning I can buy haste two. That'll make the generator even quicker. And I can buy another crop growth increaser. But it'll be perfect to speed up my farming and also my cactus farm. And with that out of the way, I can begin my final project, which is to build a house. I don't really have the space for it up here, so I'm going to create a staircase going downwards. Now I'm going to build a staircase that goes down and then around. I'm having a change of heart with this staircase, so I shall adjust it in three, two, one. There we go. I've built a ladder all the way down so that I have a bit more space to make a base. I'm going to buy glass for this. I'd also like sea lanterns, but that's going to be quite expensive. Since I am dealing with glass, I feel like earning a load of money so that I can get silk touch and mine glass as and when I need to. Paying for all these materials is, is going to be quite expensive, but it'll be worth it when it's done. Plus, I've got the cactus farm bringing in loads of money, working away whilst I'm busy. I'm hoping the $62,000 I've got should be enough to get quite a bit of work done. I'll start with buying more glass and finishing the pathway. Quite a bit of lime green concrete is also going to be needed. Trying to make a bit of a circle. I, th I think I should have enough room for it. It goes right up to the bot. It goes right up to the border. I've got just enough room. And unbelievably, everything has connected up correctly, which means I've built it right. Around the outside, there's going to be lime concrete. Sadly, I haven't got the space to border it all the way around due to the world border being in the way. Next, I'll add another inside wall. Run out of blocks, run out of money, but you can see the direction it's coming in. Looks like more mining is necessary. Got lots more stuff, which let me do much more selling and will allow me to make much more progress on this build. And the next layer is going to be white concrete, which is three blocks high. Then more green along here, then more white concrete. I prefer this to be quartz stairs, but it's going to cost me 255000 to afford all of that. And I don't really want to be spending that kind of money on the house. So up here, the next thing will be a layer of lime glass multiplied to be three high. Job done. More white concrete. And I'll just keep layering it up. Now I can finally start working on the actual roof. And shout out to Fru for the inspiration to this base. He built a similar one that I thought was really, really cool. Also out of money and out of blocks, apart from these ones I've got right there. But it's time to take my harvester and collect all these crops. Then also start on these ones. Then I can sell them. And I got over 40,000 from that. Pretty good. Plus the cactus is flowing, getting me another 40,000. Which means I can afford to finish the roof of my house. There we go. I'm thinking calcite for the floor because that's just going to be a, uh, a much cheaper thing than concrete. And since I've got a lot of it to place down, <laughs> I would have to spend a lot of money. It's looking good, but it's, it's also quite dark. <laughs> So I'll first buy a bunch of white concrete from the shop and place it like this. That won't make anything lighter, but it'll improve how things look. And to get the concrete to fill in that gap, I'll need money for more white concrete. And I want to work on the upstairs interior. So the best thing that I can do is add extra storage under here and get busy mining for more money. A lot of times we spent here and I didn't sleep through the nights. So I have been making a lot of money, over half a million to be exact, plus... 
the cactuses have been flowing. So that's another 50k in the bank. I'll harvest everything up, which is a big job with all these. There we go. Another 40k in the bank. And I can get my house completed. This will be the secret attic of my house, which I have no reason to ever go in. And this will be the level for the second floor. The place is coming together, but I don't want these walls to be concrete. Instead, they can be glass. Then I'm adding signs and water elevators. Finally, some light down here. And one singular diamond block in the middle. And there is a lot of other things that I want to do to this place before it's looking good. So I'll transform it in three, two, one. There we go. Looking a bit brighter down here. And if we go to the top, yeah, we've got black carpet. We've got a little bit of decoration. I didn't know what else to put in here. But I'm pleased with how the place is looking. And if I did end rods around the outside, I think it looks very very good. Now I've got more harvesting to do. I've also got cactus to sell. And this entire video, I've been a peasant in diamond armor, but I have a lot of money now so I can afford to buy netherite ingots, craft a smithing table, and upgrade all of my gear. The harvester can even be improved. That's awesome. I also want to buy some protection. I can afford prop 4 on this. Hopefully I can get it on all of them. Uh, no, I, I'm just short. Got 50,000 from that. So that's full prop 4 armor sorted. And I need to purchase sharpness for a quest, which is, is another 15k. Once again, mining's probably my best way to do it. I get money pretty fast from mining now. That's 50,000 in the bank again. Once sharpness is bought, another quest is done. I'm going to bank all 69,000 of my sky coins and buy a few different upgrades. And doing that as complete a quest I forgot about. I have the island missions. As you can see, this one is to upgrade your island 10 times. I get an auto sell chest. And this auto sell chest is going to be very useful, okay? Th these chests no longer need to be here, nor do the hoppers. And then whenever I mine items and they go in the hopper, they will just automatically get sold. I don't know how often it happens. As you can see, it's at the moment, it's just filling up. Oh, it sells them for 70% and every five minutes. What happens if I upgrade it? 75% every four minutes. So you do lose a little bit of money, but I don't really have to worry about things ever getting overloaded because they'll automatically get sold. And I reckon it also makes sense to hook the cactus farm up to this. Only thing I do have to remember is I will need to craft quite a lot of hoppers, which is going to take quite a bit of iron, but nothing that I can't find a way to afford. There we go. All flowing through into here. Here. I've also got these books. I can put this on my axe and this on my sword. Also another couple of books here. Only a 2% destroy chance, so I, I was going to take the hit there. I can go on my boots, this on my trident, and more for my boots. I'd also like to buy a load more pig spawners until I, I can't afford any more. And then upgrade this one quite a lot. It's eight spawners worth, so I hope it gets me loads. In theory, they'll spawn faster than I can take them out. Sadly, it's, it's not quite the case. About 32 spawn at a time, but they, they just spawn a little bit too slow. I've also realized that getting cobblestone from a cobblestone generator is, is, is kind Kind of hard work now, so it makes more sense just to buy it in. Also, does this destroy like oh it insta breaks leaves? Let's go. Insta breaks leaves and logs. Mining my trees has never been so fast. And using up the tools durability has never been so fast either. Ideally, I'd like the entire floor to be covered with slabs as well. Prefer it for people not to be able to just see on top of my house. Although getting the cobble needed for that is gonna depend on the generator. So I'll get busy mining. Spent quite a bit of time here. The, the sun has gone down, so I don't have much time left. Everything in there just sold, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, because I, I kind of want the cobble. Hopefully what I've got here is going to be enough. And I better get a bit of a move on. Managed to fill in all of this section. I'm going to add stuff along here and then wall off this bit like so. Wow, so many pigs have come in whilst I've just been building. These did take quite a long time to get rid of. Cows are all stuck in the window. That, that is a, a problem with the farm. And I got three more pig heads. Okay, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I'll make a bit of a wall along here as well. And the sun is rising, which means day 100 is coming to an end. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was 100 days in Minecraft Skyblock. And please come onto the server, I'm online right now.